We bought the farm in 2015. I was lucky enough to grow up on a farm, but nothing like this. I just remember that life um, really, really well. Um, and I loved growing up on a farm. So when I wanted to know where my food was coming from and how it was being raised, um, I brought the idea to my family and they all kind of bought in. They drank the Kool-Aid that day, as I say, and decided we would all look together and find a piece of property and, and do that. So this had been a farm in the 50s and then it had really kind of um, not been used for quite a few years. So we were able to bring it back to life. So the store we opened in 2021 and basically we had this idea that we always wanted to open a store, my mom and I, and we wanted to carry local goods. We turned the bottom half of our barn um, into a store and started carrying a lot of local vendors for you know anything from cheese to meats, um, flowers, grains, gift items, honey, maple syrup, uh, vegetables, all those things. So it's been a really nice transition for the farm and a great way for people to come out and experience the farm. We have 400 chickens. Uh, we actually have 400 that are currently laying and then we just got in our spring chicks and that's about 150. So by the fall, I'll have probably, you know, 550 laying chickens on the farm. Um, we have a lot of customers um, that come to the farm, come to Geauga Fresh Farmers Market and buy our eggs, but then we also supply eggs to Aurelia, which is in Chagrin Falls. We also supply eggs to Sleepy Rooster in South Russell and a few other restaurants and caterers. So um, we're, we're trying to get our eggs out everywhere because a farm egg's the best egg. We do have some horses and donkeys, so they are all rescues. Um, I have really had a passion for um, Geauga Humane Society and done a lot of work with them. When we bought the farm, I had to take a step back and they knew I was looking for a Belgian, which is a draft horse. And they called and said, you know, we've got one. So about a year ago, we picked up Sigmund and Dory. They came together. And then we have a miniature horse and a miniature donkey. And they are just a lot of fun. And when we have camp, the kids love them. Camp started in 2022 and we just did two weeks of camp. It was such a success that this year now we're doing four weeks of camp. Um, we have kids from age six to 12. They basically have a theme every day. So one day is chickens, one day is pigs, one day is turkeys, one day is the field. Um, we take hikes every day and they learn about farming, where their food came from, um, how things are raised. So they get that um, connection of land and food and farm which is great. Farming is really important. We need farmers. Um, we need wholesome, wonderful food. And to buy local, you're really supporting the person that you know grows that food and puts the work um, into the land. Um, and there's a lot of local producers around here. So you can really fill your grocery, you know, your refrigerator with local.